Yes, well, it goes without saying the past 10 months have changed the way we do everything, especially the way we shop. Yeah, several small businesses here in India are making some big changes to stay open. Our Meredith went to Boomerang Boutique on Mass Ave to hear how they are making it work. The pandemic has definitely been a challenge and something I never expected to go through. Meet Felicia Kiesel. She owns Boomerang Boutique on the north end of Mass Ave. So I've been here eight years. I'm in my eighth year and I've got over 70 handmade and local artists in store, so it's just a fun boutique full of all things I love. Unsurprisingly, she says the pandemic has been hard on her store. It was definitely a hit, for sure. Downtown is kind of quiet right now. Um, there was a major difference in um, income that came in, but I'm still here, <laughs> and I've adjusted to figure out ways to make it work, and um, so it's kind of opened my eyes to figure out a different way to run the business, not just standing in this room seven days a week, all day long. And Felicia's not alone. New data shows 82% of entrepreneurs say they feel better prepared to handle a future crisis. Whether it's a restaurant that is now doing delivery using one of the many, you know, DoorDash, Uber Eats, Grubhub, all of those, um, whether it's, you know, retailers that are, that are now selling their products online, I think, I think people are realizing you can actually really expand your market. And that's exactly what Felicia has learned, utilizing technology. And not just, you know, the website. I think people always think, oh, can I buy it online? They think of a, a website, but you're really targeting, I'm gonna put this on social media, all you have to do is message me. Yes, that's the main thing. You know, I have the website with the clothes, but my main sales are coming through social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. I post and people will comment or uh, message me in my DMs and, it's super easy to send an invoice and then it's shipped. It's almost like, it's so casual. It's almost like like shopping from a friend, which I guess is the whole idea of being a small business owner. Yeah, and I've done FaceTime private shopping, so you can FaceTime me, wow. I'll take you around the store and show you what I have. She says this year has permanently altered how she runs her business, relying on less street traffic and more on meeting customers where they are. Oh, I loved getting to go to Boomerang and tell this story. Now, something special to note, Felicia says this past holiday season, business owners on Mass Ave say they had more support than ever before in the shop local movement, which I think is so cool. Yeah, and that's so great, too, because you get that taste of downtown, but on Mass Ave, it truly is a small town kind of feel with all those business owners. Uh, yeah, and they all know each other. It's such a community, so happy to support and happy to show off that boutique. All right, Meredith, thank you so much. Yeah. Here's a live look right